I work with the body, bodies, I should say, they're always plural, and with different logics. Um, and I'm sort of interested in the feedback process. So working with the body can generate many different logics and bring into awareness that, first of all, logic can be non-binary, that common sense doesn't have to come from whether something is true or false. Um, that logics can be dynamic, they can evolve, they can be emergent. I work with improvisation a lot, and I, I work a lot uh, with site-specific material where you sort of get to a place and you start to inhabit it. And I'm interested in the flow of that, both the process and what it generates, because it's always something new. <laughs> and then on the other side, I, I work with history and philosophy of logic too, and um, different frameworks that have existed and that do exist kind of outside of the Western Eurocentric notions of logic. Um, I'm most familiar with logics that existed in the early 20th century in the Russian speaking world. In the same vein, there are a lot of uh, indigenous logics and indigenous notions of science that I've encountered and became familiar with, though I'm not an expert, that are not inscribed in symbols but that are enacted and that do constitute a way of common sense, of making sense to people. So I'm interested in taking those mm, frameworks and pockets of knowledge and then embodying them in one way or another, bringing them into my body, working with them, bringing them to life. So prior to coming here, I was in a forest with two collaborators for a week, and it was one forest, one place, and allowing our bodies to be in that place without necessarily a clear product in mind, but learning to inhabit and cohabit and be at whole um, nest, almost net in that place. Part of the, uh, or a necessary part of that process is becoming part of the ecosystem. 